Excuse me? He was going to go use drugs? That's your testimony now? We were outside his studio, his man cave house, if you will, in the car, I believe, during that recording. And he was going to go inside and use? That was the pattern. And as you can hear from my voice, I'm very, very, very scared of entering into the next cycle under under what I had been conditioned to understand we were at at that point in our relationship. That's not true, is it, Ms. Hurd? Mr. Depp was trying to go inside his house to see his daughter, Lily Rose. She might have been over that day, but so that's not your what he was getting now? out of the car to do, and that's not what I was stopping him from doing. Okay. Let's play the beginning part of that recording where Mr. Depp tells you that he wants to go inside to see his daughter. Let's not do this anymore because I'm really getting frustrated and I'm really, really, really sick of this argument. Stop. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me go and you go and I'll speak to you in a couple hours. Okay? Okay? Stop. Okay. Why are you saying stop? Because May you're I so go? We'll circle back to this, but it's your testimony that you were outside Mr. Depp's studio. We were in the car. You were in the car outside mm -hmm. of Mr. Depp's studio. That's correct. And he wasn't telling you, please let me go inside my house to see my daughter. He was indicating to you that he wanted to go inside to do drugs. That's your testimony. I know my testimony is that I knew what he was going inside to go do. Okay. I knew what stage of the cycle we were in. I knew the patterns by then, and I was desperately out of time trying to interrupt that cycle. Let's go to May of 2016. Uh, yesterday, Ms. Heard, uh, Ms. Bredehoff, your attorney, showed you certain pictures um, from May 21, 2016. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Okay. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 710, which has already been admitted in, into evidence. Ms. Heard, you testified yesterday that this is a photograph taken of you on May 21st, 2016. Do you recall? Yes, that's correct. And keeping this exhibit up, if we could please do a split screen, Tom, and also pull up Defendant's Exhibit 714, which has already been admitted with redactions. Ms. Heard, you testified yesterday that this is the photograph that was also taken on May 21st, 2016, correct? Yes, although the one to the right might have been taken the next uh, day. I can't be sure. The reason I say that is because there's light in the background. so. It looks like it was taken in the daytime, which means maybe it was the next day. Didn't you testify that you uh, took different lighting, pictures in different lightings that on is, May 21? That is correct, yes. Okay. And, and you're wearing two thin necklaces in this picture on the right, is that correct? That is correct. And you testified that these pictures were taken the same night. The one on the right looks like it was taken in the daytime because I can see the daylight behind me. But you testify that they were taken the same day. Uh, I don't know if I, th I think I testified that they came from the same incident of the same day, not necessarily taken on the same day. Okay. Let's please pull up defendant's exhibit 712, which has already been admitted. Uh, you testified yesterday, this is another photograph of you on the night of May 21. That's correct. And keeping this exhibit up, can we please do a split screen and also pull up defendant 713, which has already been admitted. Ms. Heard, you testified yesterday, this is also a photograph of you from the same night, correct? That is correct. You testified yesterday that the only difference between these two photographs is that the light was turned on. That's what it appears to be, yes. The light is on on both of these pictures though, isn't that right? It looks to me like the one on the left has the vanity light, the makeup lights, you know, the more yellow hued ones that go around the mirror on, and then the one on the right looks like it doesn't have those. Isn't it true you just edited these photographs? No, I've never edited a photograph. Didn't you just enhance the saturation for one of these photos to make your face look more red? Uh, no, that's incorrect. I didn't touch it. Okay. You were sitting here in this courtroom when Mr. Isaac Baruch testified to see you, seeing you the week after May 21, 2016, correct? I was here. Mr. Baruch testified that he saw you on May 22nd while you were changing the locks of your penthouse. Do you recall that testimony? I do, I just don't know if he was right about the date, but I do remember him saying that. Testified it was 
his birthday, the day after his birthday. I believe it was. Yeah. Mr. Baruch testified that he saw you repeatedly in the days following also, correct? That's correct. And Mr. Baruch testified that he saw no marks or injuries on your face, correct? That is what he's testified to. You were also here in this court when Mr. Sean Bett testified to seeing you on the evening of May 21, 2016. Is that right? Um, you were here. That's correct. Mr. Bett also testified that he saw no marks or injuries on your face that evening, correct? I realize that's what he said. You were sitting here in this courtroom when Officer Melissa Sines testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia Building on May 21st, 2016. Right? I saw her testimony, yes. And you heard Officer Sines testify that she did not see any injuries on you that night, correct? I heard her testify she did not consider this injured. No. Ms. Officer Sines testified that she met with you and she did not see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct? She did not consider this injury. Ms. Heard, my question is a bit more nuanced. Your Honor. So is my answer. Tom, can we put these down, please? I think they might be confusing the witness. My question is more nuanced. You sat in this courtroom while Officer Sines testified that she saw you the night of May 21, 2016, face to face and didn't see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct, Ms. Hurd? I believe she was testifying about these photographs and she said that I was not injured in them. Is it your testimony under oath now that Officer Sines testified that she saw injuries on you when she saw you in person on May 21? Sorry, let me clarify. I was testifying that I know that that's what Officer Sines said, that she didn't consider my red puffy face injured. That's what she said. The red puffy face, that was your counsel's question, correct? That was she her said, testimony in the UK. That's incorrect, and you know that, Ms. Heard. I disagree. It's just inconvenient for you that Officer Science didn't see injuries on you on May 21, 2016. Isn't it doesn't that matter right? what's convenient for me. Right. Officer Tyler Haddon also testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia Building on May 21, 2016. And he also testified no injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that correct? They both said that they did not consider me injured. They did not see injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that what their testimony was? What their testimony was is that they did not consider what my face looked like to be injury. They didn't consider what they walked on in the house damage, but it was. You were sitting here when Officer William Gatlin testified by deposition about being called on May 21 to the Eastern Columbia Building, and he also did not observe any injuries on you, did he? he and that's what he testified to. He didn't even know which one I was. No, I think we all saw on video camera, you identify yourself, isn't that correct? 
I had to because of how far away he was. He didn't even know. He didn't even know who he was. And after you identified yourself, he looked at you. Isn't that correct? From a distance, yes. And he didn't see any visible injuries either, did he? I don't know what he saw. He testified that he didn't see any visible injuries, did he? I would believe that he didn't, yes. You were also in this courtroom when Alejandro Romero, who worked at the front desk at the Eastern Columbia Building, testified about seeing you on May 25th, 2016. Isn't that correct? That is correct. I think he said the 25th. Yeah. And Mr. Romero testified that he didn't see any swelling or bruises on your face when you were talking to him at the front desk. He wouldn't have. No, he wouldn't have, even though he had a habit, because his parents taught him correctly, to look into someone's eyes when speaking to them. Isn't that correct? I know that's what he testified to, yes. Yeah. 